Hello, and welcome to this introductory video to the laboratory work of the course Microprocessor Architecture. In this series of labs, you will study different microprocessor architecture in a practical way and apply what you will learn in various exercises. There are a lot of different architectures out there. The point of this course is to introduce you to multiple examples of such architectures, make you understand how their basic components operate, and lay out the foundations on how microprocessor and microcontrollers work. At the end of this course, you should be able to work with the different architecture we'll present, but also to have general knowledge allowing you to tackle and learn new architectures that you may not have seen before. All the material required for this course is available on the Virtual University, also called UV, on the page of the course. You will have one lab per week for a total of nine labs. During some of the labs, you will also have assignments for a total of five assignments. You will find more information on the practical organization of the labs at the end of the video or directly on the UV. The people involved in this course are Professor Dragomir Milojevic, who teaches the course, and the teaching assistants. The teaching assistants will be available two times per week for Q&A sessions about the laboratory work. The schedule for those Q&A sessions is available on the UV. We will study four architectures, starting with the RISC-16, a small RISC architecture created for educational purposes during four sessions. We will then see the DSPIC-33 architecture, the architecture used on DSPIC microcontrollers for one session. Then one session will be devoted to the exercise of a small game called t 100 We will then finish three sessions on the x86-64 architecture, the standard architecture for most desktop and laptop computers, and specifically we will study a special set of instructions called SIMD, Single Instruction Multiple Data. So, what to do now? You should start by forming groups of four students and enroll on a group on the UV. Being enrolled in a group is very important and mandatory if you want to be able to submit your assignments. There will be five assignments in total. Two for the RIS-16, one for the TIS-100 and two for X86 SIMD. Those assignments will be part of your final grade for the course. The deadlines for each assignment is indicated on the UV. See you in the next video.